In this video, we will install Rapid Scanner on a Linux machine. Ubuntu Linux is deployed on a virtual machine and we will interact with it using command line interface. What do we need? First of all, download the Linux version of Rapid Scanner from the official Rapid Scanner website. Next, find the manual how to install Rapid Scanner on Linux. Also, we need a PuTTY, which is an SSH client, and the WinSCP application that can help us to copy files from Windows to Linux. Run PuTTY. This is the IP address of our Linux machine. Human is a username. The first step is installation of ISP.NET Core runtime according to the Microsoft instructions. I already selected the required command, copy, and press Shift plus Insert to paste it into the command line and press Enter. You can check that .NET is installed correctly by the command .NET info. This is the correct response. The second step is installation of RapidSCAD from the package item 2 or manually item 3. It's easier to install RapidSCAD from package. We have to connect by WinSCP, find the home directory of our user and copy the package here. Also I suggest to copy the configuration file of the web server engine X. It will be needed a bit later. Copy full file path and find the command. We need to install the package. The package has been installed. The next step is for creating a RAM drive, which is highly recommended for Rapid Scanner. Use log directory and we need to edit fstab file. I will do that with help of midnight command. Install midnight command. Run it with administrative rights. Find the file. Press F4 then choose option 1, copy the line, with arrow keys go down and press shift plus insert, press enter. To save the file press ctrl O, enter, press ctrl X. After that, we need to install Engine X web server. Press Ctrl O to switch to command line and copy commands one by one. Press Ctrl O to switch back to the 
Midnight Commander interface. And back. Open the self signed certificate. Control O. And we need to copy the Nginx configuration. according to the instructions. Find Nginx folder, sites available, press Shift F5 to save backup copy of the configuration. Downwards override the configuration file and we can restart the Linux server. Reconnect again. The server is already restarted. And I want to check rapid schedule log files. Press FGTF4 to open the file. Agent was OK. Communicator is OK. Server so, uh, works well and the web station application also good. Then let's check the web interface. To access the web interface, type the IP address of the Linux server. I typed incorrectly. The login page is available. Username is admin, password SCADA by default. You can see that Rapid SCADA has been installed successfully and it works now. Thank you.